Hi guys, I'm sure you are also interested about this Azure API Management Policy Toolkit open source project. That's why you are watching me now. Um, I really find this project useful. That's why I am going to explore this a little bit. Um, yeah, so for those who don't know me yet, I am Ryan, AKA Learn Me John. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start to code. Let's try to uh, create a solution first. And um, I'm going to name this as Test Solutions. Okay, then. I'm not sure what that version I have here, so I'm going to check it first. I like to use this uh, version 8. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna add global JSON to make sure that every uh, project will use version 8.0. Okay, then um, we can now create our first uh, nice library project. I'm gonna name this AP. AP appim that policies that's okay then um, i'm gonna add this to the solution of course okay looks good now i have to um I have to add this package uh, packages uh, folder because um, this policy toolkit is not yet uh, available uh, to uh, nuget uh, nuget uh, public nuget. So I have to create or we have to create a local nuget repository for this uh, um, libraries, and uh, I just need to uh, copy this and put it inside of the packages folder that I have just created here. Then the next step that I need to do is to add um, to add nuget.config so that the compiler will will uh, uh, will, uh, will will be able to to see this uh, libraries or the libraries that I have uh, pasted inside the packages folder. I just need this uh, config declaration. Okay, that's... Okay, so um, I can now use the package inside my app in policy project and I'm going to just add that um, like this. Okay. I think that's all. So I can now, um, I can now create a class file and try to use that, um, um, that package our library. So I'm going to name this first policy.cs and uh, I'm going to make this quick using policy. Policy toolkit. Okay, that one. Okay, then uh, policy, this should be I document. And um, this document, and let's try to remove this. Add this method, which will have. Uh, let's inject this i 
inbound contacts and um, oops let's add context that base it should have this context base and uh, let's try let's try to add a simple um, header so I think this will be this will work for now and uh, yeah okay so let's compile this now um, not sure the source would be on appium policies and uh, output should be here then format should be true of course hmm what's happening okay Okay, so I need to get out of this folder. It should be in the root directory. So that's cd dot dot, then try the dot command. Okay. Um, okay, source should be app in policies. And output we're gonna yeah here then format this should be working now now we have this XML file where we can use uh where, where we can use it in Appium so let's create our uh Azure API management now first we have to uh, create a um, research group to get test and uh, yeah create create then uh, let's go there and create appim api m First step, if I got this one, I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, okay, name should be Appim um, Toolkit. Yeah, that will work. NA, NA at NA.com. That should be fine. Um, Okay, wait, I need to, uh, let's use this consumption to make sure I will not be charged. Okay, let's just wait. Okay. Okay, then, so um, let's create our uh, test api let's do that manually okay get and, uh, that's okay for now then um add operation name should be get and get and save oh i forgot this get save that's it um just to give you an idea on how to add uh, policies inside apim uh, or appium you can do that like this um you can just um you can just click this policy and select different policy there you can also define different name um, key value pairs here and uh, once you save this uh, let's, we just add a simple uh, sample value let's save and if you go back to the policy it's now updated
Um, yeah, that's the manual way of doing uh, of doing that. But uh, if you work with this uh, policy toolkit, you can just uh, generate uh, different XML decorations like this. So, as you can see, it's still working. And uh, uh, so imagine if you have uh, multiple policy, you need to uh, work with this API designer. So sometimes it's, uh, well, it will give you, um, what they call this, you can attract changes. You can attract changes of the policy. So if you have this, uh, if you can write this using C Sharp, you can push this uh, to your Git repository or code repository. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let's try to add another um, another policy. So um, second policy. Um, policy let's see, yes. And let's just copy this first example. Okay. And uh, rename the second policy. I will just copy the code snippet from this uh, from from the um, policy toolkit uh, repository. Okay, here's that. Okay, paste. Oops. Check the URL in the description of this uh, video. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, paste it there. Okay, so it should be okay with that um, expressions. Okay, oops. Then um, curly bracket. So curly bracket is missing here. So that should be yeah. Okay, that should be fine. Now let's compile this to generate a policy. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, second policy.xml has been generated or created for us, and uh, we can use this. You can just copy this uh, and uh, add it to this um, policy generator. Oops. There's an error. Um, uh, okay, be, uh, because there's no base. So it should uh, it should have this context that base. Then uh, let's try to generate this again. Let's try once more. Copy. Then paste it here. Hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, so let's try to just uh, yeah remove that um, curly braces bracket. Yeah, let's just add static value. That's right. Then uh, let's try to generate again. Copy that. And uh, that should be working now. Okay, so that's it. So, yeah, as you can see, you can uh, you can manage or you can uh, what they call this track any changes, all the changes for different policy. It's up to you how you organize your um, C sharp code for this. I mean, yeah. Actually, you can also work with um, AppKim extensions in Visual Studio Code. You can also work with that, but I highly, um, well, I really see this um, um, policy toolkit very useful because uh, if you check the documentation, you can also work with different um, automation um, deployment. You can also add, uh, well, unit test. For this, so yeah, you can 
uh, you will really benefit for, from this if you are, especially if you are a C Sharp developer. So, yeah, just explore this and uh, yeah, have a nice day, guys. Bye.